Good evening and welcome to Prime Business with me, Winston Taki. And out of first business story, Finance Minister Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam is warning of serious impact on economy as a result of the dry situation in the northern region. The minister is worried about how inflation could be a major casualty. Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam has been speaking at a media briefing in Accra. When you see food shortage, and therefore, the effect on prices, you should expect that inflation will respond and will respond in the way that you do not want. Then we are also talking about bringing in food for the market and also to provide food reliefs. I'm here to discuss with the minister how we are going to source the food. He may be running away from mentioning imports, but we already import a lot of our food. And so one other ways the economy may be affected is from the perspective of foreign exchange. People are complaining, the city is getting weaker against the dollar, the rate is higher, against the city. And so if you are going to bring in more food to support what we already have, you need to back it with Forex. And therefore the demand for the dollar will certainly increase relative to what we anticipated if we didn't have to meet the additional food requirement, some of which may come through imports. And so in different ways, the economy is going to be affected. Government is looking for 8 billion cities to support a country's food security situation. According to the finance minister, this will be a combination of funds from contingency fund, budget realignment and development partners. Meanwhile, Agri Minister Brian Echampon has been given details on how some financial support for the affected farmers will be given. Additionally, we will bring in a total volume of 26,000 metric tons of poultry feed to directly support the poultry industry as maize, their main raw material, has been severely affected. And of the at risk, we have been able to confirm 435,000, cultivating 871,000 hectares. Government has decided to provide financial support amounting to 1,000 Ghana cities per hectare to the most vulnerable among these farmers as partial cover for their investment. Government will also provide affected vulnerable farmers with some food grant to enable them meet their minimum nutritional requirement. Commercial banks are expecting interest rates to drop further as a result of falling inflation in order to formulate a more sustainable lending program to support businesses. According to the managing director for DCB Bank, Michael Adumako, this will help in bringing down the high non-performing loans in the banking sector. Mr. Adumako was speaking to journalists after addressing some investors from shareholders on the fact behind the figure series at the Ghana Stock Exchange. NPLs, as you saw in the Bank of Ghana report, NPLs are high, over 20% uh, uh, in the industry. Yes, uh, GCB as an individual bank, uh, NPLs have come down slightly, but they are still high. They are not where we want to be. They are outside of our risk appetite, and we still need to work hard um, uh, um, um, to bring NPLs down. What are we going to do about it? Tighter uh, uh, underwriting standards. Um, working with our customers to understand their businesses better and structure deals uh, better. But the real fundamental issue is interest rates are high. Okay, so we have to find ways and means of getting our customers uh, to attain liquidity, to attain financing without necessarily borrowing. We're doing a lot of structured uh, uh, trade finance types of transactions which are structured in such a way that they don't have to borrow and uh, pay um, uh, the kind of interest rate. But the good news is that inflation is coming down. 
interest rates are coming down. I know the Bank of Ghana is watching very closely. The pressures are still there. I think at the right time, monetary policy rates will also come down. The GRR rates will come down. And we'll get ourselves into a more sustainable lending program to uh, support Ghanaian businesses and individuals so that businesses can do. It is in the interest of banks that interest rates are sustainable. Because if interest rates are sustainable, we can lend more. We can make more money. We can create more value for our shareholders. And our customers can also pay back our loans. Now, moving on, acquiring litigation free land can be a major headache for property seekers. However, Ultimate Land Hub Limited offers innovative and cost effective solutions with hassle free land acquisition process across the country. Whether you are looking at prime sites like Central University, Shy Hills, or Abri, Ultimate Land Hub has you covered. This year at the Ecobank Journeys Habitat Fair, the company is preparing to offer discounted land parcels to prospective buyers. Here's a glimpse of what the company does best. My name is Wisdom Agbodo and I'm with Ultimate Land Hub. Ultimate Land Hub is a real estate company that has been in existence for um, the past five years now and it is specialized in um, selling of lands. We have our lands in uh, prime areas in Accra, such as um, Shire Hills, um, Pram Pram, around the Central University. Um, we also have areas within Ebri, um, particularly Ebri or Bwadaka. It is about 35 minutes drive from um, Adonten Senior High School. And also we have um, areas within um, Kumasi and its environs that um, we are selling. Um, as part of our services as well, we are also into um, services such as um, property management, property development, brokerage services as a company. At Ultimate Land Hub, we focusing on every group of people, be it individuals, um, institutions or corporate institutions, um, group of people and of course those who are also living diaspora who are looking forward to making um, real estate investments in Ghana. Um, they, they, all this group of people form part of our client base and the people that we are focusing on or we are targeting as, as our um, prospective client base. At Ultimate Land Hub, we have made um, some sales from five years um, for the past years okay so um in an area like shy hills we have made about 35 to 45 acres um in pram pram we have made about 30 to 45 um, acres of sales um in Bri, we have also made about um five acres of sales and of course in kumasi as well we have made about um 10 acres of sales at ultimate land hub um, our key focus is on the security that we would provide or we would give to um, purchasers or buyers from people who buy from us. So in this view or in this regard, the security or the, 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 the peace of mind um, of, the, of each client is our topmost priority. And as a result of that, we ensure that all lands that we put up for sale are litigation free. They are not lands that have previously been acquired by any group of person or any people or whatsoever. They are lands that are lit totally litigation free. And of course, um, I can assure each, each and everybody who is interested in making a purchase from Ultimate Land Hub that their decision will not be a decision that will be in regret since um, we consider or we take the security of client base to be um, a topmost priority. At Ultimate Land Hub, um, another key reason why um, a, a, a client or a buyer should consider making a purchase from Ultimate Land Hub is because our lands have been strategically positioned in such a way that the proximity to town is not far. I mean, as, when we talk of accessibility, you drive about five to um, eight minutes drive and you are hitting the main road. At Ultimate Land Hub, between 18 to 40,000 Ghana cities, you are making a purchase for a full plot size of land from Ultimate Land Hub. And the, the most important thing or the most interesting thing is that we have flexible payment terms. And of course, um, with 
a down payment of, a, of about 50% and the rest being spread over a period of six months, you have become your own landlord and of course you can start building your tomorrow's dream today. So this is the Ebris site plan. There's about 14 acres of land. And what you see here is the main uh, road leading to Kuferidria. Now this site plan is demarcated with proper routes. After every two plot, there's a route. So on these lines, these lines you see here, these are all roads, so all this one, two, three, all the way to 14 houses, this is their road. They have a road in front of them. Now, with this, the roads are all 30 to 40 uh, square feet in the sense so that at least everyone will have the, the drainage system in place, the light, everything is factored into this. Now, when you buy here, one good thing is that because it's an estate, we have a plan for uh, like the, the commercial areas and then we have the residential areas. Now when we come to the commercial areas, those places are for shopping malls, the police station, the health center, shops, hotels, and other uh, uh, amenities for the, the community living here. At the upcoming Joy Ecobank Habitat Fair, I entreat all patrons to be dressed rehearsed and be dressed prepared for amazing discount offers that Ultimate Land Hub will be putting out, which would be ranging from 12 to 25% on all our lands at the various locations that our lands are situated. Um, I entreat all patrons one more time to locate our stand under the fair and enjoy this amazing discount that Ultimate Land Hub would be bringing out to the Joy Eco Bank Habitat Fair. Ultimate Land Hub can be located at Pantai, Asori Junction, and on all social media handles by searching Ultimate Land Hub. We also have our office um, based in Kumasi. And of course, um, you can reach Ultimate Land Hub directly on 053-590-7646. 053-590-7646. We are looking forward to seeing all patrons who are interested in building their tomorrow's dream today and becoming their own landlord to make their way to the Joy News Eco Bank Habitat Fair, to make a purchase from Ultimate Land Hub, and of course, make this dream become a reality. Now, for you, by way of business here on Prime Business, my name is Winston Taki. Up next is Prime Sports. Stay tuned.